You keep calling it dating. We are friends. Carol, listen. Hey, listen to me. Aside from you and your sisters, she is the only living, caring being in my life right now who doesn't drink from a toilet. <laughs> well, yeah. as long as you're not dating, I mean, as long as you're friends. That's what it is. Come on. So, speaking of dating, which I am not doing, how about you? Dating? I love it. I get to do an impersonation of a perfect person. I get to act much nicer than I really am. Be fascinated at how their therapy is going now that they're finally able to cry. And throw my head back. <laughs> In laughter at their wit. As I eat my blackened redfish. Hey, neighbor. Oh, darn, it's you. I'm out of here. Hey, don't take it personally, Carol. It's just I don't like the food you bring. Your sister brings much better food. You bring all this weird health stuff. Look at this. Everything in here is green. It's good for you. I don't eat anything green, except gum. You eat anything that's free. You know, you got a personality problem, Carol. Maybe that's why... Maybe that's why what? I don't want to hurt you. You can't hurt me. <laughs> Please. If I said to you, maybe that's why your husband left you for that adorable blonde, um, what's her name? Rita. <laughs> yeah, Rita. God, I never saw a body like that in my life. I wanted to pray to her. But I don't want to say that to you, and, well, I never would, because... I'm a decent guy. Bye-bye, Daddy. You have fun tonight. Thanks. When do you sail next, Charlie? Tuesday. Sink. <laughs> that was great. Eva, that was just great. So, Harry, you haven't told me. How do you feel about dating? Well, it's the same as eating, actually, except you can't write it off. Come on, Harry, you gotta admit it. We have a really terrific relationship here. Oh, we do, we do, we really do. Oh, what a clear night. I think I can see Cuba. We've known each other for 16 years. We're both widows. Have you ever been to Cuba? I would love to go to Cuba. I haven't had a decent cigar since the missile crisis. <laughs> Harry... We're not 25. <laughs> Why don't we get married? <laughs> uh, married. Yes. This is our first date. This is the first time I ever brought you flowers. I mean, they're not even serious flowers, like long stem roses. There just happen to be a kid at the off ramp. <laughs> Harry... We've been seeing each other for over a year, and you didn't even know we were dating. I want an answer soon. Oh, uh, well, what's soon? Soon is by Monday. That's soon, all right. Because, Harry, if the answer is no, I have to get on with my life. Are you serious? You mean if I say no, you won't see me anymore? I'm crazy about you. But I gotta get on with it. <laughs> Oh, my Eva, that, this, is, this is nuts. I mean, uh, marriage, it's so fast. One date, a few carnations, blue ones, or, you know. Uh, we haven't had sex. I mean, we haven't even kissed. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, hey, you. Where have you been? I've been calling you for two days. I was getting very worried. Oh, my God. Two whole days? Daddy, I was on a stakeout. I love hearing that. My daughter's on a stakeout. I cannot tell you what a nice effect that has on my heart. Relax. It's a piece of cake. Barbara, please. You're dealing with bad guys, crazed men who don't care what happens to you as long as they get what they want. Those are the guys I date, Daddy. Oh. 
Why are you a cop? Because I like running in and out of buildings. You ask me that every time you see me. Because I think someday soon I might get an answer that makes some sense. You, you used to want to be a ballerina. I bought you toe shoes. I outgrew them. I like what I do, Daddy. It's important work, and I'm very good at it. Uh. Donuts for a change. <laughs> Why don't you just take out your gun and shoot him? <laughs> makes too much noise. Come on, you can have one. A donut once in a while will not kill you. I'm a doctor. I can't. I just found out my talking scale has been lying to me. <laughs> you have a talking scale? It's great company. I get on it, it says, your weight is 115 pounds. Have a good day. <laughs> I mean, what man in my life is that nice to me? <laughs> So I've been having very good days thinking I weigh 115 pounds. But I don't. I never did. And it probably knew it the whole time. So how'd you find out? Did it snicker when you got off? <laughs> I got on a silent scale. The thing is, you can't trust anything that talks. First your husband, now your scale. <laughs> Listen, girls, I have an announcement to make. At least I had a husband. Girls, listen. It was just a joke, Carol. Well, I'm sick of your jokes, Barbara. Come on, play nice, girls. Especially the one when I was nine and you told me I was adopted. I was proposed to last night. I was four. How could you believe me? You crossed your heart. I didn't cross my heart. You were what? <laughs> proposed to? <laughs> you know, like in marriage. <gasps> Daddy, that's great. Are you out of your mind? Who is it? I, Eva Barrett. Eva's wonderful. That's great. Well, everything's always great with her. It's sick. <laughs> the whole time we were growing up, she was that way. What way? Perky. Happy. <laughs> it's disgusting. I mean, where's a little despair, a little depression, for God's sake? Read some Dostoevsky. Please. Please, if she is happy, leave her alone. I'm just trying to inject a little reality.